It is a beautiful evening here. The sun is starting to set and the hummingbirds are floating around and I've got a couple packages here from Alfard Golf. Um, it is their e-wheels unit which allows you to take an existing push cart and motorize it. Uh, I've lost significant weight over the last year, so I've been interested in walking full courses more often. Um, short nine hole courses, I've been starting to walk with a push cart. But for a full 18, uh, I have some back issues from where I was a wrestler, so I wanted another option. So I am going to do a series of videos. This one's just going to be an unboxing, look at what comes in the kits. And then the next one will be assembling this onto my existing cart, which is a Click Gear 8.0. That's the four, -year, four wheel model. I also plan on picking up a push cart that has a rotating front wheel, three wheel with a swiveling wheel, because I hear that those drive a little differently with this. So in an effort to give a more complete review for anyone else who might be contemplating the same thing, uh, I figure I'll get one of those and install it on that as well and show you guys how it works. So without any further ado, let's get into this. This first smaller box. I believe is the brackets. Yep. All right, hold on. This is better, so you'll get a better view. Let's see what comes in this packaging. All right. This looks like it's one of the wheel assemblies. Um, looks like it's a pretty decent gauge steel, pretty heavy duty, well built. It looks like there's a little bit of a plastic clamp here with some rubber inside. I'm guessing that's gonna grab the actual unit and lock in the unit. Looks very well made though, looks heavy duty. I'm guessing this is for the other side, but we'll make sure. Uh, I knew that when I contacted them, they told me I'd be getting two different shipments. One, I believe, is the actual e-wheel unit itself, which I believe is in the bigger box. And this is the bracket, which is cart specific. I believe that sometimes they'll come to you all as one packaging, and sometimes they send it separately. But they all got here within a couple days of each other. I think it was um, a couple days apart they arrived. So this is the opposite side. It has an extra screw floating around, which looking at the other one goes right here. It must have just come out in shipping. No big deal. So I get that set back in here so we don't lose it. And I'm gonna reposition the camera shortly so that we can look at what's inside the big box. Make sure you guys can see as I open up. All right, one second. Alright, now for the big box. This box has pretty good weight to it, so this just is not overly heavy, but definitely you can tell it is some sort of battery and motor combination because it is not that light. Alright, looks like it's very well packed. You can see the unit in there with the wheels, and I like how they have the heavy duty cardboard brackets to hold in the extras. According to this box, it's got your remote control with batteries and the handle clip for it and the actual charger for the unit. And I take it this wonderful wheeled unit with a heavy piece in the middle is actually the e-wheel. So I'm going to gently pull her out of here so we can get a better look. Alright. You know what, I'm going to keep you guys in suspense. First of all, Let's look in the little box. Little box will be easy to get into. I will say each one of these boxes have been lined with foam, which I like. If you're buying a product that is more of a premium product that you're paying the money for, you want to make sure it's going to get to you and not be broken. And uh, I think 
they've done a good job of making sure that it's going to get to you even if the uh, mailman decides to get a little adventurous it's going to get to you safe and you're not going to have broken parts this i believe is the mount that's going to hook onto your handlebar and has a little magnet for holding on the actual remote control my kid. Carefully use the knife. This appears to be the standard charger and cable. Interesting little three hole connector for the battery. So hopefully this is the remote and batteries in this packaging. And it is. Remote with simple controls. I'll get more details for this. I do plan in this series to actually drive it around in my backyard, which is behind me, and then do some courses uh, with it and actually tell you how I think it performs on the course and see if there's any strengths or weaknesses. I have done some reading and realized that if you do it on steep inclines, it can fall over. Anyone who's ever pushed a cart understands that. And so they're actually in development of a wheelie bar that will hook on the back of, I believe it's on your actual cart, I'm not sure if it's on the cart of the unit, but to actually prevent that. So they're already looking ahead, taking feedback from early adopters and um, making enhancements to help. So hopefully, uh, as a part of the review, if they are done with that or whenever they get that in, I will do a, I'll pick one up and do a follow-up because I do play on courses with some up and downhill areas and I would like to see how that wheelie bar works. So when that comes out, I will absolutely get one and just to make sure this is a thorough review for anyone contemplating purchasing one of these units. I will say the attention to detail on packaging, they both have the zip ties, foam everywhere. You can tell they really wanted to ensure this was going to get here without getting damaged on the way. And I can appreciate that from having stuff arrive damaged and having to send it back and deal with that hassle. They did a very good job of making sure it's going to get here. I do like that it has pretty heavy due to handle and it's not overly heavy when you get it in hand. A little awkward when you've got all the foam and everything on it but with that handle it's not bad at all picking up. All right let's see if we can get these clips off. around. Each one, it appears, has three clips. Looks like they doubled it up because that's where they taped it together. Make sure each side stayed on. Once again, the little details are nice. Going that extra mile to make sure when it gets to your house, it's going to be ready to run and you're not going to have to ship anything back or worry about getting a replacement part. Nice rubber tires with tread. Not super deep tread, but definitely grippy rubber. I like that. There are some little pieces of cardboard protecting the shaft on either side. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I will get them off. I don't necessarily have to do it right now, but if it's that easy, I will. I believe that is where the adapter brackets clamp on there on either end, and I believe that's adjustable out depending on which push cart you have. So there you have it. Uh, put everything in frame. Hopefully everything is showing on the camera, but the unit, the two clamps, which I believe hook on either end and hook onto your push cart, charger for the unit. You got this nice lightweight. You could easily have that in your pocket while you're playing, or I know it has the mount for it to go on your actual cart, but very nice all in all. Definitely does hook there very easily on the metal plate. So you can have it on your cart or on your person so you can drive it around. And they even include three AAA batteries and Duracell. It's nice. 
went with a good quality battery. Nothing cheap and generic. I like it. All in all, I appreciate the packaging job. It definitely looks like a quality unit. I am going to turn this around so hopefully you'll be able to see. You got your charge port, which has a cover on it to keep water from getting in there when used. You got your power button, some indicators. I'm going to do my homework now. I'm going to read up on how this works and how it will get attached to my machine. I'm going to get this unit charged up. In the next video, I'm going to take my Click Gear 8 push cart and I am going to show how you actually modify it so that this will go on it. Uh, I'm going to go through all the steps and show as I go. If I make a mistake, I'm going to show it. I want you guys to understand so when you pursue the same sort of thing, if anyone else is trying to do the same install, that they will have a similar experience and hopefully learn from my mistakes. Uh, part of my review is I want to give complete honest feedback to Alfred Goff um, so that they understand how I, how I perceive this product. What do I think are the strengths and are there any opportunities for improvement? Uh, they've already shown that if you give them feedback, they're willing to make enhancements. So Willy Bar is a perfect example of that. So hopefully if there's any other concerns I voice to them, seems like they have a good track record of listening to their customers and making it right. So look forward to putting this through the paces and letting you guys know how I get on with it. So until the next video, hope you enjoyed it.